So here's the uh, voltage controlled amplifier module. Um, this is again quite simple in terms of its sort of construction. Um, this one is based upon a uh, another article I trawled off the internet. Um, again, this one's based around the LM thirteen seven hundred chip, which the uh, voltage control filter was based upon. Um, and this actually means that we can have two voltage control amplifiers off one particular module. I mean, the the chip itself is effectively is a duplicate on both sides, so uh, effectively two channels. Um, again, because of that fact, it is quite a simple circuit. Um, just one IC, a uh, few discrete components, just control the the levels, etc. Um, and and that's about it, really. Um, in terms of how it functions, um, it's incredibly simple. Uh, you pass signal in, audio signal in, and you get an audio signal out. And the uh, volume level is attenuated by the control voltage input. So if, if there's a zero control, a zero volts control voltage, then the output will be will be zero. If there's a ten volt input from the CV, the output will be uh, as loud as the input signal was. Um, there's a little bit of a bias gain on on the side there, and that just helps with um, some issues you sometimes get with zero crossing. So if you imagine a uh, a waveform which is uh, going po positive and minus the zero volts. Um, sometimes the uh, the waveform can actually rise above or below that zero crossing, and the bias just simply allows us to uh, to control that. If we didn't, then some then what would happen is either the uh, signal would be too low or or the signal would be too high. And, and as a, as a result of the signal being too high, as you pass zero volts through that, you would still get an audible signal, which kind of defeats the object. Um, VCA, very much like the VCF, is typically um, triggered from a uh, an envelope generator, and um, that's effectively used just to, to shape the sound so that as the note is sounded, the the uh, the VCA opens, and as soon as the note finishes, the VCA closes, and then depending on the uh, type of envelope that you want to apply to it, you can have a fairly slow. Uh, attack and a fairly slow release if you wanted that um, but that's it really uh, it's say it's, it's it's because of the ch because of the chip being a a, a, a two um, a, a, a dual channel I've wired both both of those in um, I don't think I've actually used it as a dual channel at the moment because I've only got a single oscillator but um, like all these since there's plenty of uh, growth in the future for that um, this is another 8 HP um, uh, size unit. Um, this is you know there's quite a lot going on there in terms of the the width of stuff, but you know quite quite a small circuit on the back. Uh, the uh, the face here in this one is uh, is kindly brought to you by uh, Punk IP uh, Punk IPA's uh, Pale Ale. So that's another another nice kind of touch. Uh, there's a bit of a backstory actually about the uh, the, 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 the panel faces. Um, apart from not wanting to have boring kind of black or silver ones that look like, like everybody else does, um, I think one of the earlier models I built, I actually drilled the holes a little bit too big. And um, by veneering a <laughs> beer can on the front of it, uh, solved that problem. Um, and as a result of that, it actually made it look a bit more interesting as well. So there you go, there's a bit of a, a, bit of a story there. I'll really focus on the VCA that's plugged into the uh, the rack now, and again, just to sort of explain what's going on here, we've got the sorted output from the VCO going into the input, and then the output of the VCA, the amplifier going into the uh, into the sound card, so you can hear it. Um, at the moment, you can't hear anything because uh, this particular module is is purely controlled by the control voltage uh, and there is no control voltage being applied to it so uh, what I have done is I've uh, attached it back to the envelope generator a little bit like we did with the filter and uh, that's then uh, the envelope generator is then basically triggered from a gate signal from a, uh, a controller so if I hit a note then we hear that we then we hear the uh, the output and you'll see with the LED on the envelope that the note duration is based upon the envelope setting so you know fairly long attack uh, fairly long release there if we look at the 
this game, what you should also see is the waveform for the fairly high attack, and then it starts to uh, to to flow away as well after the uh, note's been released. And again, just to kind of illustrate that from a an envelope generator perspective, if we turn the attack up and hit the note, then you should see the well, and also hear the note. Uh, volume start to rise a little bit slower than, than, than the previous ones. So slow attack, never release the note now, slow decay. And uh, that's pretty much the uh, the kind of the building blocks really. Um, the the VCA and the VCF give a bit more uh, a bit more, more colour and a bit more shape to the sound. Um, that's pretty much it for this particular uh, blog. Um, I shall uh, talk about some of the other modules remaining um, in the uh, in the next few items in there. But that's pretty much the the core building blocks um, for creating a sound and shaping the sound. Everything else is more around actually how you control it. So we'll talk about mixers and multiplexers, which are just a way of handling a range of, of, of single and splitting signals out to multiple signals. Um, and then we'll also talk a little bit about the uh, the, the, the step uh, sequencer, which is just simply another way of controlling the notes that uh, that get played on the VCO. But from that point, that's pretty much it. Those, uh, let me see, one, two, three, four key modules are the sort of the real basics of a, of a modular synth. Um, I've also neglected to talk about the LFO, so we'll do the, we'll do a video about that shortly as well. Um, and that's uh, another thing just to to help make the sound a bit more interesting.